So there are many, many, many ways to make yoga in the Thermomix, but today I'm going to be using uh, my very new white Thermo server, which is 2.2 litres. It's a little bit smaller than um, the regular round one, and um, it fits inside the Varoma, which is what we'll be using. So this is the Varoma method of fermenting yogurt in the Thermomix. So the TM6 has the fermenting mode that will keep it going um, for the 10 hours or however many hours it actually needs. So um, I've, on the screen, I have up the Varoma method and really important again, to look right at the bottom of this particular recipe because you'll see the tip section is absolutely huge. So it tells you all sorts of things like it's really important to have a super clean bowl, to not have any bacteria residue in there that might destroy or pollute your yogurt. Um, and also other things that you need to know. So I'm not gonna go through them all because they're all um, in the cookie dough recipe. So we're just gonna go with start cooking. And um, first step is to pop a bowl onto the lid and then we're going to weigh in, and I'll just grab it from the fridge, um, natural yogurt as our starter. So I'm using this one. I find um, the better quality starter yogurt, the better your yogurt will be. And uh, this brand uh, has a lot of live cultures in it, which is what you want. So um, I'll just tear my scales to zero, which they are, and I'm going to weigh in the 55 grams here, uh, which is not a lot. Um, so I'm just going to pop that in. So that's about 20 grams over. So I think that's fine. It's, it's there. So we're going to go with that. Uh, and then next, uh, we're setting that aside, done that. Now, next step is we go into the bowl with this one and we weigh in um, a litre of full cream milk. Now, ideally, I would say get the best quality milk you can buy, but I sent my husband to the shop and he came back with this one. Okay, so, okay. <laughs> so I, can't, I, can't be, I can't be angry because he's back filming for me, but anyway, I would go with like a, a really, really good one if you can. It'll be fine. So it'll be fine. Well, time will tell. And otherwise we will be having um, a smoothie yoga instead. So we're going to weigh in our thousand grams, which is basically a litre. Uh, and when you start talking thermomix, everything becomes grams because you're weighing everything in, but a mil and a gram is pretty much, well, it is the same thing. So 1,000 grams going in like that. And I love the way on the TM6 we get lovely one gram increments on the scales. It is my very favourite thing. So without the measuring cup, so just popping a lid on like that. We are going to heat this for 10 minutes at 80 degrees. So we on speed three. So we've got 10 minutes now to just let the milk heat. The 10 minute 80 degree cycle finished and the next step was to just wait until the milk cools down to 45 degrees. So you can see that if you just go back, you can see what temperature it's at by the reading on the top of the set temp. So we can see there that it's at 45, so we can keep going. So all we need to do now is add a little bit of this milk to the yogurt, not a lot, like so. That's just our starter yogurt that we need for all the culture in there to actually create um, a new live batch as it ferments. So we're just going to incorporate that a little bit so it's not quite as thick. So that looks great. Yeah, so it's just a nice thick runny consistency. And then the next step is to pour this yogurt mixture into the bowl of milk. So that's going into now our heated milk. So that's all of that lovely culture that we want. And I'm probably going to use a spatula to get everything out because as I said, we want all of that good live bacteria going in. And that's what makes it so good for our gut and us in general. Um, so here is where I'm going to digress a little bit. The recipe is asking for 50 grams of skim milk powder. Oh, sorry, full cream milk powder. Now I'm going to double it only because um, I don't, I'm not really backing that milk that much. So um, look, and this is a trial. So I will assess it after today's batch and then decide. So the 
100 grams of milk is going in. So that's actually double the quantity of, of milk powder. Um, sugar, I'm not putting in because I sometimes want to put this into curries or other savory dishes. So I prefer to be able to just sweeten it as I go. Um, so now we're going to pop the lid on and um, in that time I will just grab the measuring cup which has temporarily been misplaced so let's just pretend the measuring cup's on don't know where that is not not ideal um, but it only needs a quick little five second combine on speed four I'm pretty safe about the measuring cup don't do this at home um, so that's done and then next so we're going to Pour this now into our brand new little white thermo servers. So how to get a white thermo server, you ask? Yeah, that's a loaded question. So um, these are currently a host gift. So if you would like to host your very own Thermomix cooking uh, experience or demo, you're entitled to receive one of these either for free or at a discount. So we can talk about that if you just want to contact your consultant. Okay, so now, next step, let's just read this, is to rinse the mixing bowl. So I'll just give that a super quick rinse. Don't need to be, I think we don't need to be too fanatical about this. Let's just see what it says. Uh, so 200 and... 50 grams of water. So let's just weigh in 200 and almost there. 250 grams of water. Water's gone in. We want to pop in about 30 grams of lemon juice. This is um, apparently meant to just, because we're going to be fermenting for a very long time, it just protects the bowl and the blades. So sometimes I do this and sometimes I don't. So I haven't really found it's absolutely essential, but you know, we're just doing the right thing today. So 30 grams of that going in. And then next, what we do now is pop, this is where it varies. And this is just one of the many ways I said to make yogurt. Aroma in position. Um, and then we pop this in because it's designed to fit into the Varoma. Mm, clever. Yeah, very clever. Um, whoops. And then just want to double check if the lid actually goes on. Place Varoma dish with the thermal serving bowl into position secure of the Varoma lid. So I'm going to say that's a no. So we're just going to pop this on like that. And then we are going to let that ferment for 10 hours. So ideally you would do this overnight and you would just wake up to beautifully set yogurt. So anyway, see you in 10 hours. Right. So here is the exciting time. Our uh, fermenting time is up. So our beautiful yogurt has just been doing its thing um, and it's ready. So I will just take it off and we can just check the consistency. Now it's important to remember that while it's in the fridge cooling, it will further thicken. So we don't need to worry at this point if it is too runny, but it looks really good. Like that looks amazing already. So um, I will call that a beautiful, beautiful set yogurt. Um, and that is literally straight off the Thermomix after it's 10 or 10 and a half hours of fermenting. So, um, it's, it's just beautiful. So when, when we wake up in the morning, this will just be perfectly, perfectly set. So, um, oh, it's really, really nice. If you want your yogurt more tart, you can leave it on for even longer. So you can change the fermenting time to 12 hours if you'd like. So looking at this now, um, all we need to do because it's been set in this, the best thing to do now is just cover this beautiful white thermo server and pop it straight into the fridge. The less disturbing you do of the yogurt, um, the better. So not having to pour it out into a container into the fridge, 
is really, really good for your yogurt setting. So um, I can't wait to have this in the morning and I love how it looks. And um, if you are interested about uh, in the white thermo servers, then definitely uh, comment and I will get back to you because I love them so much. Here we have yogurt just made uh, and set in the beautiful white thermo server. I love it. It looks amazing.